So what do we want to know? We want to know about Black Label. What, what is Black Label? What was Black Label? What was the idea behind Black Label? Side note. Everybody in this town wants to get down. Black Label was a hallucinatory response to not wanting to get a job. And really what it was, was um, the 80s were coming to a close and skateboarding was starting to die down again and morph and change. The landscape was rapidly changing. It had gone from all of these these big time arena vert skateboard contests to a much more intimate um, street based diet, we'll say. And John was smart enough, the ding, he heard the bell go off, saw the writing on the wall and and knew that it wasn't going to go on forever. Initially, the, the original, who was it? It was uh, Ricky Barnes. Skip Pronier was a Huntington Beach local who also rode for Black Label early on. He was one of the first riders. Schroeder and I were the pros. Max Evans from San Diego. Sean Martin from Northern California, from Sacramento. My personal favorite label incarnation was when Dill and the gang got on. Dill was super, super young. We got Gino Iannucci out of Strong Island, New York, Long Island. Kim Upson out of Connecticut. Jim Gagne yeah. out of uh, Massachusetts. Then John Cardiel. Oh, we had Randy Colvin was on that incarnation of the label. We had all these dudes from all these different places. They were just, and they were all really young. Lucero was out of his mind. I was fucking batshit crazy. We were, we were held up here in Orange County and running the company out of Huntington Beach and, um, and skating Belmars a lot. You know, our kind of skateboarding had come and gone and and John was trying to, to do the label and really make it about, about those guys. Never be bought, never be sold, baby. <laughs> Conceived on his own dime, over 30 years of blood, sweat, and beers later, Lucero's still at it.